Hi, I'm Charlie Thorburn. Welcome to Mordor Gundogs. We're going to do the second phase of our heel work lesson. So we've shown you in previous videos about how to put a slip lead on um, and why we use them. This is Muckle. Muckle is the most enormous Chesapeake Bay Retriever. So it's pretty key that a dog like Muckle learns how to walk to heel. Is I can't emphasize enough, you must do all of your training in the most quiet, easy going environment you can possibly find. I always say to people, you don't learn to drive on the M25 at rush hour towing a big three and a half ton trailer behind a big truck. You go to an industrial estate, a housing estate when it's all nice and quiet during the day and there's no one around and you practice your reverse parking and your stopping and emergency braking and that sort of thing. Training a dog's exactly the same. You don't go into the middle of Hyde Park where there's hundreds of people and there's deer and there's all sorts of other things. You wanna come into a nice empty field, a car park, something that's relatively low, low level excitement for the dog. And as we've said before, heel is about that lead being loose and the dog following us around. Every time he goes to get it wrong, we correct him by pulling firmly down on the lead. So we're putting the pressure on the back of his neck, the, the speed and the reaction time that you've got to have. You've got to be quick, you've got to be paying attention. If you're not paying attention to your dog, they're not going to be paying attention to you, okay? So the first thing we do is we just say to Muckle, heel, we walk him wet heel as he goes to pull. So we're just constantly changing direction so that he's walking along, paying attention to me. As soon as he goes to pull again, we change direction. Now, at the, at the moment, it doesn't matter that he's not walking perfectly on my left. It's about him following me around. When I throw this, he's gonna start to try and go, go and get it. So we use the correction on the lead, that down tug on the lead to stop him. So we tell him, sit, sit, heel. So as he goes towards, tug, tug, and then we walk away, okay? You can see he's pretty excitable, he's pretty keen but he's paying attention to me, I'm paying attention to him. As he goes towards it again, tug, and we walk away. Now I'm not allowing him to be full arm's length on the lead. He's not towing me over. Just as he starts to pull, as he starts to put pressure on that lead, I'm correcting him. I've got hold of this lead just in one hand. In fact, just to prove a point, I'm just gonna do it with one finger. As he goes to get excited, I correct him and I walk away. So I'm just gonna wind him up a little bit with it because I want him to get excited so he's keen and he's ready to pull again. So, get him to look at us, say heel, walk towards it. As he goes to pull, correct him. Get him to come back, come back the other way. Looking to keep that lead loose all the time, okay? As soon as he goes to pull over there, we change direction. Wherever he's going, we always change direction so that he's following me, okay? Now the slow motion version of that is he goes to pull, I tug the lead, he turns around. And we're gonna do that with a number of dogs, but it's about making sure that lead's loose all the time. So I'm watching him, I'm watching him as he gets excited, correction, correction, pull him away from it. Take him away until I've got him in a, under control again. And then we can walk right up to it. Now it's taken me three or four goes to get close up to that dummy with him because he just loves them so much. But that's what it's about. If, that, if we replace that dummy for a person, another dog, does a duck, a chicken, it doesn't matter what it is the distraction is, it's about getting close enough that you've still got control, keeping control by correcting them, walking away, and then once you've got control, going back and trying again, okay? So as I kick it away, he goes to pull, tug, tug, and we walk away again. Keeping him on my left, okay? Now you can see he's trying to walk around to my right. So I use my body language. He's a big, strong dog. So I use my body language to push him around. That little maneuver there is my son calls the loop-de-loop. -loop. So I walk around, keep walking into the dog until he stops trying to push me out of the way. Because with a dog like Muckle, you've got to be strong. You've got to be in control because if you let him pull you, he's gonna take your hand off. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Remember, you get out what you put in. We'll see you again next time.